American 65, Kane Calvin, wait four left short, line up and wait. Hello, I'm Dare Tevers. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Marine Corps Air Station Beaufort in Beaufort, South Carolina. Welcome aboard our Boeing McDonnell Douglas Harrier 2. AV-8B would be its designation. We are here at Marine Corps Air Station Beaufort because, well, it's a Marine Corps airplane. It's the reason. It's really the reason. Uh, this comes as part of the Mega Pack. So what you're going to download, if you hit the link down below, is a whole bunch of planes. This is just one of them. All right. I'm going to try to take off vertically with this aircraft. To do so, I'm going to go max flaps and just keep pressing buttons. You will notice my little hovering thingy there. See it rotate? Look at that. Aw, look at that. And I can just keep going until it's going straight down, which is what I want. Cool, huh? All right, let's uh, let's see what our Rolls Royce F402 RR408 Mark 107 vector thrust turbofan can do with 23,500 pounds of thrust. Let's get in the plane. Are we ready for this? Are you ready for this, Jelly? I, I hate the the HUD, by the way. It annoys me. Here we go. Can I stop the aircraft? Yep. There we go. Now, because we're relatively heavy, whoa, baby, bad baby. There we go. There we go. We are now in the air. Let's go forward. Now, if I tap my my uh, flaps, she'll start to slowly move forward. Notice it going slightly. Now we can move. Look at that. And now we start our forward flight. Look at all that smoke pouring out of her. Okay. And as I go along, she'll slowly start to accelerate, and then we'll get up to the speeds that we need to transition to level flight. And then we can start pulling in our flaps. And there we go. Look at that. Awesome takeoff right there. Landing is going to be a completely different thing altogether. All right. This is a single-engine ground attack aircraft. Constitutes second generation of the Harrier jump jet family. She is V-Stoll. It was designed in the late 1970s as an Anglo-American development of the British Hawker Sidley Harrier, the first operational V-Stoll. McDonnell Douglas extensively redesigned the Harrier to create the B. It retained this general layout, the layout that we're all familiar with with the Harrier but incorporated a new wing, elevated cockpit, redesigned fuselage, an extra hard point per wing, and other structural and aerodynamic refinements. It's powered by an upgraded version of that Pegasus engine, not the original. Overall, it's just a completely different aircraft. First flight was in November 1981, entered service January 1985, that is almost three years of other gibberish. Later upgrades included uh, night attack capability and radar, something I would think would be normal, but apparently wasn't. Uh, that became the AV-8BNA and AV-8B Harrier 2 Plus because reasons. This aircraft has a high accident rate related to, to the time spent in that critical phase of takeoff and landing because she hovers. It's kind of a difficult aircraft to fly. Now, because it's subsonic, that does create some concerns for flight, you know, in dangerous conditions. Um, she is metal composite construction. The uh, shoulder-mounted wings with that, dihe that downward dihedral or that sloping downward is just classic of the Harrier. It does kind of capture a little bit more of the, of the air, allowing some of that um, hovering flight. Now, this aircraft retains that tandem landing gear with the outriggers. Um, now, the outriggers originally on the AV-8A were at the wingtip. These are, are moved inboard to about mid position. And the engine intakes are larger than the first generation. You can actually see the fan spinning in there. That is pretty awesome, isn't it? And the underside has added lift improvement devices which capture the re, uh, reflected engine exhaust when close to the ground 
giving an additional 1,200 pounds of, of upward thrust, which is pretty important. I need a place to land this plane. I need a place to land this plane. Where did my Marine Corps Air Station go? Oh, it's back there. Woo! Now, technological advances added into this aircraft uh, reduced the workload on the pilots. Supercritical wing, hands-on throttle and stick control principle, which is the HOTAS principle, and increased engineer lateral stability made this aircraft fundamentally easier to fly than the original Harrier. Even though it's got a high accident rate, it's still fundamentally easier to fly because of all these additions. Now, that new supercritical wing structure improves... Uh, cruise performance by delaying the rise and drag and increasing lift to drag ratio. These are, you know, engineering nerdy terms, but they're still important terms. This aircraft is composite. The wing is thicker and has a longer span than the first AV-8, which was the AV-8A. Uh, compared to the wing, it has a, of the A, it has a higher aspect ratio, reduced sweep. It has a 37 degree sweep instead of the original 40 degree sweep. And, uh, sorry, I have to kind of pay attention to what I'm doing because I'm about to transition to hovering flight. There we go. Look at that. Was that not the quick transition right there? We're just gonna, we're just gonna slam the sucker into hovering flight, like, out of nowhere. Just, boom, hover. Okay. There. Cool. Uh... Has an increased wing area as well, up to uh, 230 square feet from the original 200 square feet. Now this aircraft is scheduled to be replaced with none other than the F-35B. Scheduled replacement is 2016, but because the F-35 is having problems, the AV-8B will stay in service until probably 2025. So, because we can't build a new plane for super expensive cost, we're going to just make use of a plane we already have, which I think is the most logical thing in the world to do, but there you go. This is a fun aircraft to fly. I enjoy flying it around here. Uh, maximum speed is not much. It's Mach 0 0.9. That's 673 miles an hour, 1,083 kilometers an hour. She has a range of 1,400 miles. That is 2,200 kilometers. She has a General Dynamics GAU-12 equalizer, 25mm, 5-barrel Gatling cannon mounted under the fuselage in the left pod. I'll get to that as soon as I land this aircraft without crashing it. And six underwing pylon stations that can hold 9,200 pounds or 4,200 kilograms of payload. Look at that. Is that not crazy? Now we're going to try to land her without destroying the plane. Now, I've seen these things at air shows many, many times. Just kind of hover in front of the air show line and do all kinds of cool acrobatics. They're so much fun. They are so unbelievably loud, though. There you go. And we've landed properly. So we have our... Where is that hard point? Huh, I guess it's not modeled on this aircraft. She does have her refueling capabilities there, in-flight refueling. It's a fun little airplane. You do get many, many different models, and there is one that has a proper HUD. <laughs> I don't remember which one it is. All right, let's hit our little buttons. Shift one. There we go. That's with a proper HUD. Shift two gives us, what is that, the left? No, I thought it was going to be the left uh, unit here, but it's not. Still. Oh, yeah, it is the left one and then the right one. There's your GPS, and that's it. Everything else is handled by actually flipping switches. When you can actually flip switches. You cannot turn on FLIR, which kind of makes me sad. Yeah. What's this? Avionics master switch. Yeah, let's leave that. Navigation lights. Landing lights. Well, we've already landed, so they're kind of useless now. <laughs> All right. We managed to land this aircraft, which I'm sure many of you thought wasn't going to happen given the wonderful disaster I had when I flew the F-35 and crashed it on landing. But I can land the Harrier. It's a little bit easier, a little bit more 
standard, I almost want to say. Okay, when I shut it off, she returns all of her equipment to neutral position. That's pretty cool. All right, if you're looking for the AV-8B Harrier II, the Mega Pack down below has that aircraft along with a bunch of others, so you do get all kinds of extra bonus fun aircraft, which are cool. I like this Harrier. That HUD annoys me, but like I said, I think there's one that doesn't have that stupid HUD problem going on. Even so, this is a cool aircraft, fun to fly. I challenge you to, I challenge you on your hover times. Hover in one spot for how long? During a windy day. Ha! You thought I was going to let you go. You have to set the wind up to be a windy day and try to hover in one spot. I've managed it for a very short amount of time and then I crashed. But there you go. That's the fun of the AV-8B. I've been Derek Tebbers. This has been your Flight Simulator X Plane Spotlight of the AV-8B Harrier 2. Until next time, happy flying or hovering, everybody. Uh, good evening, ATL 101 Heavy. I did 101 Heavy. Good afternoon. With 0908 48, put the land. On behalf of the flight crew, thank you for flying with us and have a pleasant stay.